For today's video mga kabiyo, Connor, as a question na grow videos ng bagyo ni Lamon. Silang lahat at masyado pang ginalingan ang head-to-head -head challenge ng Miss World Philippines 2024. Narito ang mga tagal na pa ating pano o The people with disabilities because in our job industry, only 26% of the people with disabilities are, are, are employed. So, This leaves a huge percentage of the community without a job. And I think it's really important that we acknowledge their skills because people like me are able to do and reach the capacity of people without disabilities. And I think some initiatives that we can do to be able to overcome this hardship that many people face is by really including or taking into mind the things that these people need in a classroom setting, such as Braille, so that the blind people can understand what they need to learn, or closed captioning when the, when the teachers are speaking, so that the deaf can understand, or just assisted devices so that they, they can communicate and relay what they need to say for those who are not able to communicate so that they can further develop their skills and eventually land a job security where we can all collectively as a world become greater for one another and collaborate and reach our purpose by finding the jobs that are meant for us. Oh, thank you so much, Bianca. Not there. Now, hi, Dia. Hello. Now, you consider music a form of therapy. And uh, what is that one song that has not yet been written and not only soothes the body but also heals the soul? Well, music has been such an important part of my life and as someone who has experienced or has been diagnosed with depression and anxiety, it's the one thing that has kept me grounded to this earth and kept me sane and at peace. And the one song that I feel like would that it hasn't been written yet is called Palaban. And I see that because not only because I am a Cavitenya and that's what we're known for, being Palaban, being fighters, but because I truly believe that now, in this time of my life, I am fighting for what I believe in and I am fighting for what I want to do, which is to represent not only the Philippines but to the voiceless, to the people who are dealing with mental health issues such as depression and anxiety and to those who cannot cope with it and that's what I want to show to other people is that you can do be a fighter yourself not only um, fighting your mental illness but being able to use music as a tool to heal and to cope with what you've dealt with thank you thank you so much Dia our palaba an ukay ukay vendor in the thrift shopping capital of the north how do you think ukay ukay plays an important role in our economy And as an ukay ukay seller, I observe that uh, fast fashion is a trend now. It's because it's cheaper and it's uh, it's trendy, and we can conveniently order clothes online whenever, uh, whatever we needed it to. So, as an ukay ukay seller, I also contribute to my personal ways. Of course, through selling thrift thrifted clothes. You know, um, during pandemic, I. I was fortunate enough to put up my small business, so I was um, importing boxes of drifted clothes from Korea and also from Dubai. And that's my personal way of um, contributing to stopping fast fashion today. But um, personally, if I have the chance to, an opportunity to, to tell everyone and encourage everyone, I would say that we can you know, buy less clothes. Of course, we can rent clothes and we can do our initiatives in order to, to stop fast fashion. Um, whenever someone visits in Baguio, they always ask me, where would you want to take me? And then I said, I, I always say it depends on you, but um, personally, if I have the choice, I always take them to Hilltop Baguio. So it's a, it's a known um, area in Baguio where you can actually get ukay ukay gems. So that's like a rare or selection um, kinds of clothing. So that's also my, you know, like the greatest contribution that I always Uh, I always provide to the community, so I hope that em and everyone can can emulate that as well. So thank you. More than bringing the practice of speech pathology in the barrios is not something that we hear every day. 
how can you try to bring to the attention of the world that this is such a noble cause worth pursuing? First of all, I would like to thank everybody. Thank you for that question because it gives me more exposure to talk about my profession. And that's exactly what I want to do. Like I've mentioned before, word of mouth is my currency. And the more that I get to talk about my profession, the more people know. And the more people know, the more people understand. And that's the reason why I advocate for my profession, for what I do and what I can offer to my community. So that way we can increase the access to delivery of therapy, of healthcare, and rehabilitation. That way, we cannot just expect one person to do this in the volume. So it, what I do won't be such a noble thing anymore. It should just be an everyday thing, a casual thing. So maybe one day, what I do will just be a day-to-day -day event or day-to-day -day activity of every person who wants to help change the world one word at a time. Mga Bioko Neras, don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated kayo lagi sa aming mga bagong